All right, Shalom, I'm Mike Young. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakodash. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who are the true elders and apostles of all Israel. All right, this is Brother Yahweh Stop with another lesson. Um, and basically, today, man, as you can see um, from this video, it says COVID camps put disease carriers in detention centers, uh, proposed New York uh, law suggests. All right, so it's go it it's going down, man. All right, everything we've been prophesying about is coming to fruition. Okay, we've been, we've been, uh, uh, what's it called? We've been, uh, we've been, uh, um, uh, prophesying about this for the longest time, man. We've been telling you people that, that this place is about to be destroyed. All right, and first, what's going to come? Martial law, all right, uh, 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 race wars, riots, all that has been coming to pass for the longest time. And that's something that we, we, uh, that's something that's going to be a beautiful sight to see uh, whenever it finally uh, gets in, uh, into play, man. And we're already seeing the first start of it. All right. The Lord is showing you why he's called. He, he, the Lord is uh, going to show these people why he's called the terrible power. OK, the Lord is going to show these people all right, why, why, uh, um, uh, why uh, they should be afraid. OK, so I want to play just just a few seconds of this video. Then I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. Um, so go ahead and uh, one second. This is Dabu7. For the longest time, we've talked about the possibility of martial law and of camps set up in this country. For the longest time, it got scoffed at, called conspiracy, and rejected. We now have these camps being rolled out not only in Canada and other countries, but it's being proposed right here in this country in the state of New York, these detention centers. All right, so you heard them there. These COVID camps are already being set up around the world. Now it's being proposed here in, in USA of Babylon, man. <laughs> All right, so I want to go ahead and get this, man, because we know that with this, with the coming, with the coming of the Lord, people are, are going to be afraid. It's going to be a terror in that day. All right, so I want to go ahead and uh, get this. It's going to be the book of Zephaniah, chapter one. I'm going to start at uh, verse 14, and it reads, The great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. That's right, the, the, the great day of the Lord is near, man, because the Lord is not playing any more games, as I keep stating. All right, these people uh, think, think it's a game out here, man, all right? Or they used to, <laughs> okay? People are starting to realize, hey, man, what these people, what these guys on that corner, those crazy, those people, those guys are called crazy, on the corner are saying said is it, it's coming man you know it's actually becoming true <clears throat> just like a few days ago all right um or two to three days ago uh, <laughs> no it was a it was about a few days ago uh man these days have been going been going quick like lightning man all right uh I'm starting to lose lose track of time <laughs> all right so with that man we uh, uh just a few days ago uh the the capital was stormed man you know, the capital was stormed. That right there is a civil war. It's the start of a civil war. You think it's going to end there? No, it's only going to wax worse. All right. People do not want this man Trump out. All right. And with this, what? let's go ahead and get this, man. Um, wars and rumors of wars. All right. All right. Con. So this is going to be the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24 and verse uh, 6. And it reads reads and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet that's right so all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet so civil war martial law race wars all right that's all coming to fruition as we speak man all right and it waxes it waxes worse and worse uh, uh daily man every day something something new happens man for the past year um something something new has happened all right, there's been hella people keeping up. Nobody has kept up with the news this much up until uh, 2020 and coming into 2021, man. People are people are afraid, man. They're scared. All right, there's a there's video you could watch news videos or or videos about people talking about the news and and uh, what's gonna happen to America, and you see just re regular people posting post the second edges, man. People posting the apocrypha. People posting the Bible, man. I right, post on scriptures. People are scared for their lives, man. All right, but 
for their wickedness and for them not turning for specifically for the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, for them not turning towards the Habashim Al Shai. It's all gonna it, they're they're gonna go into these camps, man. So they're gonna call it COVID camps, all right. But really, it, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be uh, camps that you're getting put into uh, for slavery, man. I right? just like uh they did that they, they did it during the uh, um. Then the Holocaust, man. All right, the so-called Holocaust that happened. All right. So back in it. Zephaniah, chapter. Is it one? Salakia. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 14 again and says the great day of the Lord is near it is near and hasteth greatly even the voice of the day of the Lord the mighty men the mighty man shall cry there bitterly that day is a day of wrath a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahweh and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. That's right. There's going to be mass death uh, uh, upon the planet Earth during that time, man. And it's not going to be just here in America, man. It's going to be all over the world. All right. All over the globe, you're going to see mass death all over the world. Right? And this is all coming. This is all coming, man. All right, it's it's a uh, it's it's a very uh, spiritual thing that the Apostle Tahar, all right, uh, deemed this year the year of hastening, man. All right, because the, uh, because to hasten means to to hold fast, man. Matter, matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that real quick, if I may. Like you. All right, con to act or move at a high speed. That's a verb. All right, move hurriedly, speed up the progress of, facilitate, cause to or occur rapidly. All right, such as uh, says um, right here the relative related entries: haste, hurrying, haste, celer uh, celerity, uh, swiftness, speed, need for quick action, urgency, and then end. All right, the uh, the uh, the. Um, last part of that word uh meaning uh forming element making verbs such as darken weaken who so haste in all right and this is this is something that's being this is, the prophecies are being sped up man the days are being sped up days go by by quick man all right these days have been going by so quick you know sometimes if i'm not paying attention all right to the days all right uh, um i'll lose you can lose track of time man you know if you get caught up, you may be doing something one day, all right, and then another day, and you think that was the same day, man. You know, so these these days are going by rapid, man, and it's because the day of the Lord is near, all right. The, the scriptures say uh, that he would that the Lord will certain shorten those days for the elect's sake because it's gonna it's gonna get uh there's gonna be mass death out here, man. It's lucky I keep stuttering, all right, but there's gonna be mass death out here. People are gonna be be afraid. They're gonna be terrified, man. All right, they're not going to know what to do whenever that time comes. All right, the only ones who are going to be straight in the day are, are going to be the men of the Lord, man. All right, but this day, that the day, the day of the Lord is going to be a day of wrath, man, and darkness. All right, so continuing in back in Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 18, it says, Neither their so silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. That's right. Whoo! That's that's uh, that's uh, your pa, man. He's gonna make a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Why? Because their wickedness has reached unto heaven, man. All right. The Lord is not playing uh, any more games with these people, man. All right. Just as you see, these COVID camps are uh, they're being talked about. Eventually, they're gonna be set up, man. All right. Why? Because of this, man. And I get this a lot, but it's because it's a very good it's a very good uh, uh, um, scripture. All right. So this is Revelation 12 and 12. And it reads, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having a great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. That's right. He knows he has a short time. Therefore, he's coming down upon these people, man. 
right? And everything is happening so quickly. Every day with with uh, with uh, YouTube, there's something new. There's uh, some new rule, man. All right. Every day, uh, uh, there's a there's uh, new things that are happening, man. All right. And it and it ain't never nothing good. Okay. For the past year, uh, the year and and the beginning of this year, there has not been one good thing. All right. What happened at the uh, at the uh, at the beginning of this year, man? We're on what day? Day ten. We're on day ten, and I believe it was on day six or day five of this year. All right, that that the capital was stormed, man. All right, going to show what when since the capital was stormed, you know Esau. That gives him even more of a reason to be like, you know what? We need to get everything under control. All right, we need to, we're gonna need to put these chips in them, man. All right, we need to. They're already trying to issue out that vaccine. So with that vaccine, what we what we uh, um what we pray is gonna happen. Is that with that vaccine at the same time they issue the RFID chip, which we know as the mark of the beast, man. All right. Because because Esau knows he has a short time, so he's trying to hurry everything up, man. He's trying to he's trying to get everybody back under his foot. Because people are starting to uh, riot, they're starting to get out of they're starting to get out of hand. All right. Which is gonna give him a reason to be like, you know what? You know, until until we can issue out this vaccine, we're gonna need to put you people in a camp. Or the people who don't want to take the vaccine, we need to, we're gonna to need to put you in a camp, all right, to make sure to quarantine you not only from not only from the outside world but from your family because you can get them sick, man. All right, which is gonna come into play, all right. Which this is all in my humble opinion that something that I perceived as spirit, all right. Is it, this is when uh, the, um, this is when they're gonna enact the HR six 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 bill, man. All right, which gives them the right to go into your home, okay. And uh, um, and um, it's it, what they call it is contact tracing, all right? To where they can see you on a on security cameras, you know, if you've been in, in contact with someone who's had COVID, all right? And they can go in there and separate you and your household, man. Whether they're taking your family away or taking you away, man. All right, because this man knows he has a short time, all right? He uh, um, he know he's trying to he's trying to implement everything within it within a very short uh, time period, all right? But at the same time, what's happening, man? The time he knows that the day of the Lord is near. All right. Therefore, he's trying to uh, enact all these things and make it so-called legal. All right. Or call it a state of state of emergency. That way he can just uh, override everything. All right. And, and enact these uh, uh, this will of his anyways, man. All right. So during that day, people are going to be troubled. People are going to be be uh, um, terrified, man. All right. So with that, I want to get this as well. This is uh, the the book of Jeremiah, chapter thirty. All right, <clears throat> all right, and uh, verse uh, verse three, and it reads, "For the, for lo, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it." And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For, for thus saith the Lord, that's right, so uh, regarding verse 3, man, that's coming, man, we're going to be, the Lord is going to lift that captivity off of us, all right, and we're going to re be returned into our own land, all right, and Yahweh Shemal Shai is going to bless us, all right, and give us an everlasting day, uh, uh, an everlasting uh, salvation of peace and humbleness, man, all right, but before that comes, what happens? Verse 5, all right, for thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth tra tra travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. That's right. So Jeremiah said, Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child, man. Because he saw, whenever the Lord gave him this vision, he saw people terrified, man. And that's why their faces turned into paleness, man. All right, he saw people dying and, and and women being being so scared that because their man was super scared, man. All right, men out here are gonna be turning, uh, gonna be as women. All right, because they're gonna see these people here in America are not used to seeing so much death, man. These people here in America are not used to seeing a, really any acts of violence. Whenever they see an act of violence, all right, it's covered up by the news. All right, the people who see it are are, are scarred for life. They have PTSD. Okay. All right, it's very rare here in here in uh, America, aka Babylon. All right, that that you you can you can see an act of violence and walk away scot uh, scot, uh, scot free, man. Okay, so verse seven, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, 
but he shall be saved out of it. And he, that he being the elect, and it's called Jacob's trouble because during that time, the main ones who are going to be punished are going to be the men, uh, are going to be the men of Israel. All right. And the women of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because Esau, you're his, uh, you 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 so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're you're his main target. All right, for the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, you're his main target. Okay, and it's gonna and and that's what's gonna happen during this time whenever the Lord comes, man. That's why it says that it's gonna be a, a, a day of darkness and not of light. Matter of fact, go ahead and get that darkness, not light. Come. This is Amos chapter 5. Now I'm going to start at verse, verse 16. And it reads, Therefore the Lord, the power of hosts, the Lord saith thus, Welling shall be in all streets, and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas, and they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such as are skill, skillful of lamentation to wailing. And in all the, all vineyards shall be welling, for I will pra pass through through thee, saith Yahweh. All right, so during that day, people are going to be scared. They're going to be terrified. They're going to be they're going to be welling because of all the death, because of all every all the things that they have lost. All right, because America, these these Americans, their main thing, all right, is uh, uh is worship worship worshiping themselves. All right, and being being able to stunt on another person, man. All right, when I say that, I mean try. Uh, so some guy might have a uh, some guy might have a Mustang, and another another guy has a Ferrari and they race and the other guy with the guy with the Ferrari wins all right and he's a uh, he's a very um very pride person because of because of that you know so he rubs it in that guy's face you know pretty much is what I'm trying to get to all right so whenever they lose all these things and they they see their 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 family their friends their loved ones dying they see the 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 um the the materialistic things that they acquired throughout a lifetime being destroyed all right, or being stolen, they're gonna be willing, man. All right, because people are gonna be robbing each other, they're gonna be killing each other. All right, and this is all coming. All right, pretty soon. So, verse 18, Amos 5 and 18, and it reads, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? For the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. That's right, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And whenever that day comes, people are going to be confused. They're going to be scared. They're going to be, they're going to be on edge at all times. Okay. So it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. All right. So that's, that's a very beautiful thing because that's, that's already happening, man. All right, people are trying to flee from one place to another. All right, and it's as if they're fleeing from a lion and a bear met him. <laughs> okay, so what that means, man, is that they're gonna flee affliction only to meet more affliction. <laughs> okay, all right. So with that being said, man, I pray this lesson was edifying, and may you brothers and your sisters who fervently believe on this truth continue to believe and have faith that Yahweh Hashem will protect you during the day he, he he decides to visit this place. All right, and and we know that that day of, of, of is darkness and not light. But at the same time, uh, if we're part of that number, we are the we are the light that will shine throughout that darkness. All right, because Yahweh Shem Shah will save us out of that, man. And that's something you have to have faith in. So with that being said, once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kaikudash. All right, until the next time, I say Shalom.